Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Yes, I am back at the office. Yes, we are talking with our experts again. Uh, and we're starting off strong with Mr. Stephen Dow. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself? I'm doing well, man. It's been a minute since we've spoken. We, I, I miss a week and I get all bamboozled. So uh, thank you for coming <laughs> back and uh, talking with us. No worries. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Do me a favor. Get that marketing thing out of the way because I almost forgot. I was going to say it's been a minute, so I was like, mm, let me see who's going to say it. Anyway, although I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel are that of my own. And so uh, let's get it going. Yeah. So one of the things, uh, so I was at an event, I, I was asked to keynote uh, an event last week, which was a blast, 300 kind of real estate investors, brokers, agents. And I kind of delivered, basically my job I, at the meeting was to scare them and then to excite them, right? So <laughs> scared them, right? Hey, your business is going to fall apart. You know, 30 to 50% crash in transactions. There's going to be layoffs. You know, you're, it's just all kinds of bad stuff coming. Right. Um, the good news is if you want to get wealthy, um, this is going to be a great time because again, real wealth is made in recessions, bear markets, real estate depressions. And right. really the answer is really going to be a combination, I think, of non-QM and access to information. And access to information, at least on my channel, is going to come from PropStream. Right. Um, you and I did a seller financing 50, 40, 10 video. And mm -hmm. a lot of people are asking like, well, how do you find owners, right? right. I, have, I have this card on my desk that I'm <laughs> using right now to market to uh, owners with high equity. PropStream mm -hmm. is the answer. Um, so let's talk about creative financing. I know we have this 50, 40, 10 uh, that, that anchors on it, but creative financing could mean lots of different things to lots of different people. You've been in the mortgage game a long time. So when you hear creative financing and, and deal structures, what, what comes to mind? Um, I mean, really just someone who's knowledgeable enough to kind of use whatever tool is at their disposal, you know, depending upon the circumstances of that transaction and the resources available. So as far as creative financing, that says somebody, again, you know, knowledgeable, given the circumstances and resources available, what they could possibly do with all of that. So, um, again, case by case uh, with that 50, 40, 10, which, by the way, we did uh, close one. It was a 70, 20, 10. But the second seller took a 10 year you know, balloon, 1% interest only. So it's really out there. Yeah. We're about to close another one. Um, it's a 50, 40, 10, more like a 48.89 first. And then like a 50 something, I'm just being specific, but still 10% down and yeah, it's, it's actually uh, happening. So I think it, it, it's great timing with the pop stream, you know, kind of a deep dive because mm -hmm. again, the second, you know, uh, uh, question after that I normally get most of after, you know, who, who did, uh, negotiates the second term, you know, the terms on the second with the seller that, that again is with, uh, the borrower, but it's how do I find these borrowers or how do I find these sellers? Excuse me. So yeah. pop stream, I think uh, if, you know, if that's a, 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 a legitimate kind of a, 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 a platform, I think it's a, a great segue for your, for your listeners. Yeah. What they're going to see, cause I'm using them obviously in my team in mm -hmm. Fresno, I've had my team in Fresno on show what they're doing with it. Um, it's basically a big data lake. It's pulling from MLS. It's pulling from county records. It's pulling from this. It's pulling from that. You really can do lots of things. So if you ever wanted to market to probate, it's in there. You want to market to pre foreclosures, it's in there. You want to market to this. You want to market to that. Also, one of the things that's very interesting about PropStream is it. You, it's kind of like super data. Uh, one of the first things I did, and I think it's in a in their playlist, is I went back to my original buy box and said, how big is my original buy box? I had no idea, right? I just, all I ever looked at was MLS, right? And tried to get it down right. to 40 active listings. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> there, there's 1,233 homes that I could have been buying. I had no idea. Right, um, right. So again, again access to information as you touched upon earlier. So yeah. it's a key component, obviously. Yeah. So again, creative financing to me means a couple of things. And that was really eye-opening from the event. One is, is if they have a lot of equity mm -hmm. and that is obviously what the 50, 40, 10 is anchored on. Right. You have been around the game a long time. You have mm -hmm. undoubtedly heard creative financing from the eighties, Robert Allen, Carlton sheets, now uh, pace Morby, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Ryan Nickel, uh, Ty, uh, Ty, who was on my, he did a bonus section. You can also go in and find, you know, maybe people with very little equity. Right. right. There, there are ways uh, often called sub two. Uh, that's something that pays uh, the right pace in the sub two community. 
but there's right. you have to find them, right? They don't just they don't put a sign in the yard that screams motivated seller. <laughs> Come, come, come save me. You have to, you have to market right. to them. You have to find them. Oh, for sure. For sure. And, and I think even if you do find them, you still have to present the right, you know, yeah. scenario. So the creative financing part is a skill set that they, you know, uh, investors should be kind of scaling up um, just so that when they do have access to that information, as far as a possible, you know, seller or, or scenario that could work, you still have to kind of understand the nuances of how to present the right case in order for them to really, you know, want to uh, jump on that 50, 40, 10. So um, yeah, loving this channel and all the information that it provides. So everything's just going hand in hand. Yeah. For me, creative financing, at least this go around is going to mean mm -hmm. less down, right? That's right. the big thing that we put together originally in the 50, 40, 10, which we're going to break down in the second video today. Um, but basically, uh, you know, there's so many ways to get at this. What I would tell people when you're trying to do creative financing, it's a two-step process. One, you need to skill up. And I told everybody I was going to this event that I just came back from to skill up myself because, you know, I have a tool belt with a couple of tools that are well-worn, but others that I I have missing tools. And I've been doing this 20-some years. Sub two, completely new to me. No idea how to do it. Never done one. But I'm I know they're out there. I know the 30 year mortgage is now an asset. Like it's never been in my you know life, lifetime. I know the last right. crash, the debt was toxic. Um, so let, I, again, you were, you've been around the game a while. Let's, let's just remind people why the 30 year debt is an asset today. And it wasn't in the 08 crash. What, what were the loan structures in 08? Like <laughs> people don't understand Mainly how bad they two were. Year, yeah. Two year fixed uh, on a 30 year am. Um, Teaser rates, uh, right? Teaser rates. Teaser rates for sure. I mean, you also had, you know, what they call negam loans, where, like you said, with the teaser rate, it's at one percent, which is again your minimum payment as far as interest only on that. So who couldn't afford that? But in reality, the remaining balance or the interest would then get tacked onto the back. So if you weren't paying attention and utilizing it in the right way, as far as just a tool, where you know somebody that has ebb and flows in their cash flow, self-employed, you know, uh, uh, somebody on commission, something like that, where they can utilize that tool where on some months, a little tighter as far as cash flow because waiting for commissions to pop, but the next month, you know, windfall of stuff. So yeah. then, okay, then I just lower the principal balance the next month. But everybody's like, oh, I'm just going to pay the minimum. Minimum. I know probably is going to keep increasing in value. So I'm going to play that kind of game. So yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. And the leverage positions. I mean, you're talking, you know, 80-20, you know, stated, stated, meaning stated income, stated asset. Nobody verifies your income or how much you got in the bank. Yeah. So, I mean, it was basically like, you got a social security card and, you know, breathe, breathe on the spoon. If, if, if I see, you know, some, 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 some Condensation. Uh, steam on the spoon, right. Yeah. Boom. You're well, done. You. So, yep. So, but that's no longer the case. A lot of uh, the laws and, and regulations that were passed around the same time don't allow that type of financing anymore. So I think the deal structures are much different this time around. Mm -hmm. And so you're not going to see as much blood in the streets where things are just, you know, maturing and like, Oh, I can't, you know, what, what's doing now you're upside down. Now you got to like, you know, go possibly full dot. So that's where that's not going to be the case anymore. So yeah, it, it, yeah, a lot yeah. of what you're saying is just mainly transaction. Yeah. So again, I, lo I love that. I love it when you drop vocabulary that most of the audience doesn't know maturing. So that would be like a two year loan that ma it matures means it got out of its two year period. It went into the fully amortized and that's when right. the payment blows up. But right. the, the story was at least in the big short, you would just refi until you die. Right. It would just, Right, ma magically happen and everybody. Be okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because it does that every year in the last like four years, and so it's supposed to continue, right? Um, I mean, of course, that's just yeah, of course. I mean, forever. I, I have a question because again, you, you were sure. lending back then, yes or no? You mm -hmm. were right. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, so I just recently watched The Big Short again. Um, <laughs> mortgage brokers they were mm -hmm. highly incented to originate those loans meaning extra kickers and commissions and stuff like that or oh not? yeah i mean uh, uh in most cases with certain uh, uh loan products um depending upon you know uh, as far as for the loan professional you do have an option of making a little more commission in the way of what they call a rebate or yield spread premium or something to that effect um that's just where if you're negotiating a higher rate than what would be normally you know uh, uh, uh what they consider par rate uh with the lender then the lender makes more money over the life of the loan because, mm. you know, higher interest. So they're going to in return pay the loan professional a little bit more. So you, you're typically going to see that on, on your HUD anyway in, in that particular form. So, yes, as far as incentivize, I mean, back then, you know, I think 
for most borrowers, they didn't really read the fine print. They were just looking at the, you know, oh yeah, it's going to continue to go up. My property value is going up. I'm just borrowing money. They're just giving away money. So, yeah. you know, it was just kind of like that, you know, unfortunate system uh, yeah. that people were leaning towards. But yeah, it was very highly incentivized. And again, when it's just like no paperwork and, you know, a lot of these, uh, gardeners and landscapers making 80,000 a month, you know, yeah, what I mean? kind of stuff. A month. Oh, it's just another zero. Right, right, right. So that was yeah. again, just yeah. not a lot of regulations and, and things of that nature. So, but this time around, I don't think it's going to be the case no, as much no. blood in the streets. Yeah. No, heading into this year, we were 98% fixed, uh, in the investment arena. We we're averaging 25% down owner ox. I think, right. I think owner ox was like 11% when you put it all together. So, but much right. different, much that's why right. seconds are so like popular right now. And, and oh, they uh, have to be, you know, right? They have yeah, to be, adjustables yeah. and things of that nature. So so again, there's a lot of creative financing folks on my channel. We're going to do a deep dive uh, with PropStream. Uh, if you're a member of the course, you're you're going to be able to ask questions. If you follow me on YouTube, you will get it Sunday morning for free. Uh, that we will post it. I think it's 9 a.m. I will post it. Uh, but yeah, you, if you could, if you can leverage, you know, base, basically what PropStream is to me is take your thesis and go see how big the lake is or how many fish are in the water. That's probably a better way. Right. To so right, what did right. I do? I went to. I went to a zip code in my area, actually a couple. Mm -hmm. I said high equity. I said multifamily, two through fours, and it was almost a thousand. So we're going to hit that right. list once a month with nice. mailers like this. And I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking uh, uh, visually, like you're just putting on your lure yep. as far as what you want to catch. Yeah, I want this, but this, I bought it. And then, you know, you're like, oh, look at that. So yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of fun. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if somebody wanted to reach out to you and talk, uh, talk Turkey about what is available, what's not available in the non QM space today, how do you want them to do that? Uh, again, just my email is probably the best S D A O at velocity mortgage.com in the subject line. Please put just the acronym O R A A T. That'll help to uh, uh, get past the very high firewall that's set. Uh, otherwise a lot of stuff getting stuck in quarantine. So I do apologize if, there's a delayed response due to that. Uh, and then in the body of the email, simple description of what you're looking for at, at the most or, or a best case scenario, uh, property address would be great, or at least the city and state where you're looking to finance. I just want to make sure we lend there. Uh, your mid-FICO score, best number to reach you at, typically 24, 48 hours, I'll be in touch. And that's about it. All right, bud. Thanks again. Thank you.